I can feel like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Put some bands all on your head like Jason Terry. Whoa. Let's get it. March Madness, we back. We back Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern time. You know, check in. It's time. The Phase On View podcast is on. Let's get it. So we got March Madness 161, 61 to be exact, the episode number. You got, guess what? You got Color Power right here in front of you. C-L-R-P-O-W-E-R, C-L-R-P-O-W-E-R. Man, the link and everything will be below, man. Let's get right into it. We got a very special episode. They just passed, so you know I'm excited about that, you know. Man, another milestone birthday for you, boy. So, hey, I'm just blessed to be alive and be be well and be here and healthy, man. Hey, let's get into it. Topics today, best movies ever. Best movies ever. Second is the state, man. Huh, the coronavirus. Man, are we at a state of panic? And ways to prevent, man. Best ways to prevent. Um, next, huh. new albums, Lil Baby, My Turn, and G Herbo, PTSD, man. Very, very good albums, man. Very good albums. And lastly, man, you already know we shake the world up with the... Would you rather? Would you rather have a, your dream job or would you rather find your true love, man? <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm coming with heat today. I'm coming with heat. March Madness, baby. It's my month, man. Pisces season out here. So, man, first and foremost, man... Shout out to everyone who showed love and support for my birthday, my birthday weekend, man. Just coming out, man, and just enjoying time, man. Just celebrating more life with your boy, man. Much respect, man. And, man, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Best sports movies ever. So I'm going to give you a list of mine. These are in order. I'm going to give you my top, I'd say, seven. So first and foremost, I got any given Sunday, man. I'm sorry. Any given Sunday, Al Pacino, Jamie Foxx, Lawrence Taylor. Just it just felt if you really understand and know football, it just gave you chills and how that movie was just constructed, the good, great acting of the movie, and just really the business of the movie. Really, it just tells you a lot, a lot to a lot to know about the business of, of football and just the just the business of sports in general. So I, for me, that's number one. Second, I got Coach Carter. Coach Carter, my God, Samuel L. Destroy, 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 destroy their acting role, and it was just very, it was just real genuine, man. Like real genuine, and and you know, young boys coming out of the inner city neighborhoods, man, just really trying to just make it and get it, man. And it just that movie just embodied a lot at, at a young age um, with me and being wanted to be a basketball player, and just me actually just want to be involved in sports and understanding the togetherness of sports, man. So that that movie was just a one to me. Next, it was a debate, but I I might say Friday Night Lights is always a classic. Booby, you already know, man. If you know Friday Night Lights, you know. And just the feeling of Friday Night Lights on any sporting event, man, it's just it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. Uh, another one, um, hmm, and this was tough. Another one, I say he got game. He got game is very very legendary. I'm, I love that movie. Jesus. Jesus Shuttleworth, man. If y'all do not know, man. That movie is just legendary. And Denzel, the amazing role he played, it just made, it, it really made you feel like that was real and that was a real father and son moment for, for all the traumatic experience that they went through, you know, and then him coming out the hood and, and, doing, and doing everything for his mother and then, you know, creating a bond with his father. Oh, you know, a, a lot of stuff, man. This is, that was just a pure, pure, a great movie, man. Great movie. Of course, man, you got to put Rocky in this. Of course you got to put Rocky, man. I don't care who you are. Rocky has to be in one of your your favorite movie, uh, favorite sports movies of all the time, man. Rocky, it, it speaks for itself. And I got two more. I got Hoop Dreams. Hoop Dreams is literally one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies in general. And the reason I say that is because it just goes from the adolescence of, of, of children really growing up and mastering the craft of basketball and just mastering the craft of any sport just in general 
but mastering the craft and, and basketball specifically in this situation and really seeing the trials and tribulations on both sides, one being a little bit more athletic and privileged and one being um, not not as privileged and not as athletic, but worked hard to, to get where they went. And just to see that upbringing um, on both sides was just amazing, man. It was just amazing. And, and the things they had to go through and it, it was just a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful, I'm telling you, you gotta watch that movie, Tune In, Hoop Dreams, man. It, it's an old movie, but like if you really, if you really passionate about sports, man, I suggest you watch that. And lastly, man, white man can't jump, man. What you talking about? What you talking about? White man can't jump is just legendary. That speaks for itself as well. Those are my top seven. Definitely my top seven uh, sports movies, man. You can't. I don't think you can go in a sports movie conversation without having these. And <laughs> you can't. And man, let's <laughs> shake it up. Let's switch it up. <laughs> Let's switch it up, hey, man. This is your best friend. This is your best friend, and washing your hands is your best friend. And that should be your best friend any day. But this coronavirus, man, now that it's airborne, now, now it has entered and breached the U.S., man, we have to be extremely careful, man, extremely careful. It just, it just, it, oh, it's stressful that we have to worry about you know, our well-being on, on, on top of life, what with, with life throws, up, throws at us every single day. And this, this life-threatening virus is, is just really, it's, it's a scary time, man. And I feel like we are at a state of panic, man. And, and I'll just throw it out there. It's, it's election time. So, I mean, now this. And a lot of the stuff that, that, make, that makes me think is the Purge movie. And the last person movie with the candidacy and all that stuff, it just I, it's just crazy because in real life it seems like certain things, not the actual purge, but certain things is here for a reason. And I don't I don't know, coronavirus just came out of the blue and now it's election time. It just feels all but just so weird and we're going through almost a state of an emergency trying to Really just make sure everything is not contaminated. Everybody's cleaning themselves. Everybody's staying, staying and being aware of your surroundings. And really be mindful. Be mindful of who you touch, who you dap up. Now, I'm going to really just start having to... I'm going to have to start dapping up with the feet. Like, I see everybody with the elbow. Like, I'm going to just have to... Uh, hey, what's good? And like, I'm going to just have to do that. Because I got a son, too. And like, man, I'm not trying to bring any, any germ or bring any harm towards my son to any of my family, to any of my friends, to anybody I have encountered with every day. I don't want that at all. We, none of us want that. So I do feel like we are at a state of panic. And I feel like, man, the best thing y'all can do at this time is really wash your hands. Wash your hands. Stink booty. Wash your hands. And always carry hand sanitizer. And it's funny because my mother has always been now, I'm really up on that. Like she, she's very much, um, and it's not even just saying a germaphobe, man. Being a, if, if per se a germaphobe, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing because you want to protect yourself from being away from germs, man. So I respect that, and I've always, I've always been been, been like this because of the, the upbringing I had with within my parents, man. Like, nah, man, I mean, you can't walk around no dirty boy, man. You gotta wash your hands. Clean, make sure you clean your hands really well, man. Be mindful of your children, man. Not breathing in their face and and not not sharing food. And this time, you can't be sharing food. You can't do a lot of things that you want to do. Just in general, everything like a, a, just a, a bottle. You drinking or something with your friend? Nah, none of that. You just can't backwash any of this. It's just too detrimental to your health right now. And man, it just came out of nowhere, like. And, and we just heard about it. We, we just heard about it a week and a half, two ago, it being in China. And now it's, it's here within like that. People travel, not washing their hands, not protecting themselves, man. Be mindful, please, of everybody else, man. We still we still got a population here, man. If you if you if you are sick, please just stay away from the population. I, I we pray and hope you get better, but you know it's it, it's it's better for. And I you don't want anyone to anyone to be going through. A, but you rather one than a million any day. I mean, you you feel me? That's just what it is. Man, 
Thirdly, man, thirdly. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. New albums. Lil Baby, My Term, G Herb, PTSD. If you're not familiar, I'm sorry if you're not familiar, but these are very two good albums from very two good artists and rappers, man. Man, with both albums, I just felt I, f I felt the, the the energy and, and, and realness of the album, and also the time put in within the album. Both of them took took a year off to really make these projects. And if you're not aware who Lil Baby and, and G Herbo are, do your research, man, because they're two amazing rappers, and they they're very young, about 25. I would I would say 23 to 25 range, and they always putting out good content, man, and actually really spit bars. And with one thing about Lil Baby's album. I really liked it. it was just sonically it just all sounded good it all sonically sound sounded good to the features to his his solo performances all sounded good and one thing i do differentiate the two was just one with little baby even though it did have content and he could really rap it was more of a crank album it means like you, you know you could party towards to this g herbo i felt like was my was my personally favorite album and I'm a real herb fan. I like to welcome to Faisal Land, to Humble Beast, that's strictly for my fans, to Ballin' Like I'm Kobe. I'm really a, a little herb fan, G Herbo fan. And just to see his growth in each and every album, man, it's just, it's beautiful to see because he can really rap. He really have been about this. When he was even a youngin', being from Chirac in 16 and 17, he rapped like a boss, man. You, he rapped like, he was 30 already, very insightful, man. I feel like this PTSD is going to go down as one of his best albums. And it's early to say, but just really how it hit home with the content he was talking about, just the album name, PTSD, and getting a lot of people the, uh, a lot of people to really understand what that means and understand that like a lot of us have post-traumatic stresses, especially being black, especially being from certain environments and certain hoods. You don't really understand or know that until it's brought to your attention that you do have some post-traumatic stress disorder, meaning things in things in the past. You know your your homies dying, killing. On even on G Herbo's cover, he has fifty. Listen to this. He has fifty of his close friends or family as representing representing the states, and it's a flag with bullet holes in them representing the states. But the, with the 50 states, it's 50 faces. Meaning he knows 50 plus people that has been not just, just not just been, you know, just just passed away, has been killed, who has been murdered. And so it's like stuff like that, stuff like that is just, it, you can't even put words to it. And for him to be just like such, such a real one to put his soul out, on the album was just amazing. And one of my favorite songs on the album is Feelings, when he just, you know, just really getting into getting into how his life is structured and what's going on in his life and the traumatic experience he's experienced. And one thing that hit home with me was just like the mother of his child situation, you know, like we may not get along, but guess what? We 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 gotta we gotta get it in for our kids, man. We gotta make sure that our kid has the best, that our kid is is gonna be on the road to uh, the right path, you know, and, and keep Keep steady and strong on, on our kid. You know, there's nothing wrong with co-parenting. And, and no matter what we've been through, man, you're a part of my movie. You know, and not saying it in that way, but you have a, a huge role in my in my movie and my journey in life. So at the end of the day, it, sh it still should be respect there because we do have a child together. And we got to keep pushing forward. I feel like a man, it, it takes a real man to speak on those certain situations in his, in his real life, situa in his real life, everyday life what people talk about every day because he is a public figure. But I feel like a, a lot of people had a little Herb and G Herb, well, G Herb, with G Herbo messed up because you don't really understand. A lot of people don't really tune into the music because they were too busy on social media trying to troll and, and try to do this and that and third. But I'm just proud to say that he really got the reception I wanted, I wanted him to have. Like all his real friends want him to have because he's a real one, man. He's, he's he's very much a real one, and he's gonna be in the game for for a long time. And G Herbo, just to me, him and Lil Durk, but mostly G Herbo, cause G Herbo, my favorite rapper who, who's to come out of Chicago, especially in that in that era of music when it came out. Of course, you have Kanye, you have Common, but I'm talking about in the generation I come up in, 
and just being a real street rapper that actually, you know, speak that street street gospel, and this and that actually is real on both sides of the spectrum, man. I, I definitely say hands down, G Herbo is a, is the best rapper out of Chicago. Man, I can honestly say that. And so, man, go check out go check out PTSD with G Herbo and go check out My Turn, Little Baby, man. Both of the albums are great, man. Both of the albums are great. Lastly, man, I got a real good one to, to really ponder on. Would you rather? Would you rather have your dream job? Sure. Can't go wrong with the dream job. Or find your true love. You can't go wrong with finding your true love because love is hard to come by nowadays, especially nowadays. Everybody just running around, ripping and running around, messing with each other. Man, I feel like this is one of the toughest. This might be the, my toughest would you rather. Because having a dream job is something that's like, it's priceless. Both of these things are priceless. And having, I'm going to speak on both. Having a dream job is so priceless because within a dream job, it's not a job to you. If that's your dream job, it's not a job to you. You don't, you don't feel such of an obligation to do certain things when you know this is your passion. So you know you're going to go all out for this, for this job, no matter, no matter what it may be. And knowing you can wake up in the morning and be happy with your job, that's very, very important. That's very important because at the end of the day, too, with correlating with your love and your partner, that's how uh, situations go bad and, and, and ruffle and feathers are ruffled. Because, say, if you're having a long day at work and you don't really like your job, that energy is going to transfer into your home, point blank, period. And it's going to transfer in your home in a negative manner if your day was negative that day. And if you don't love what you do, man, it's it's going to be hard for what. It's going to be hard to maneuver. So dream job, man, that's just a tough one. And find your true love. Find your true love, man. It's That's that's a tough one even more so because, it's it, like I just said, it's, it's very hard to come by. Like having someone that's genuine, that's loyal, that's humble as well, but, it's, but also co confident too. Like, you know what I'm saying? They can strut their stuff. It's really hard to come by a, a, a girl with a sense of humor, like a girl who likes you for you, a partner who likes you for you, like and just a, and just a true genuine love and having a friendship with, with, with that person and having a special bond that is not easy to come by at all. You don't, you don't, you rarely get special moments like that, and it's 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 a rarity man it's a rarity love is is definitely a rarity nowadays because you don't really know what love is nowadays because you got people just jumping the gun because you have social media you have people risking it all for for this this that's not going to really do anything for you in the long run which is just lust and then you have a love over here but that lust can take over so i just i would say at the end of the day i would say I would, say, I would say find your true love. I would say find your true love because that's very hard to come by. And really, you you want you don't you don't want to grow old by yourself, man. I don't want to grow old by myself. I, I want to find a companionship with, with my partner. I want to I want I want to go travel. I want to do things with my partner because you life life is life, man. And it's short, man. You want to you want to cherish and enjoy that with someone you really love and and, and is close to you. So. I would say that over a dream job, which is very tough, but I would say that over a dream job, man. Man, every Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, man, y'all already know, man. Make sure y'all, you know what I'm saying, first, man, put that, you know what I'm saying, get yourself together. Get yourself together, man. Hey, look, color power, you see the beautiful colors right here, your unisex bracelets. We got unisex necklaces. We got waist beads for the girls. We got the anklets, man. I'm doing everything I can, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing everything I can to put the best product out here, handcrafted jewelry by yours all truly, you know, you know, yours truly. Color Power, 1-C-L-R-P-O-W-E-R.com, 1-C-L-R-P-O-W-E-R.com, you heard? <laughs> every Thursday, 5 p.m., man, tune in, man, love you guys, man, thank you guys for tuning in every single Thursday, man, you know what I'm saying, one.